Hello YouTube, this is Shame Over. Welcome to a game of Besieged. I want to show you a couple of vehicles that I've made and put on the Steam Workshop for everybody to use. They all work in physics and fit within the bounding box so they can be used for level progression. This first one seems to be the most popular and I'm sure a lot of you know why. This is the M4D Bird Killer. Uh, really it serves one purpose and if you don't know what that purpose is then you're not far enough in the game yet and you will know what the purpose of this is soon. Uh, the controls are very simple on this as usual. Press 0 on the numpad to raise your arms. 7 and 9. Control your left and your right flamethrowers. We're gonna run this thing at about 38 to 40 percent uh, just so you know. This thing is fairly mechanical, so it will eat up your CPU if you don't run it slowly enough. Uh, it's a fairly nimble machine. It's got tank steering, of course. All of our vehicles have tank steering. And basically, you just line it up underneath all of your birds, and you fire the cannons. One, two, three, four, six, sorry. Five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight volleys, or uh, seven volleys of cannons. Uh, shrapnel cannons. The pneumatic arms, spikes, spinning blades, flamethrowers. This is all you need to kill the birds. Moving on to the next item. Sorry, a little bit of mouse trouble there. The M4D Dox Sonic. This is named after the good doctor in Doctor Who. His sonic screwdriver, because I couldn't think of anything more useful. Uh, this is a utility vehicle. You'll be using it in the uh, objective-based levels, where you need to pick something up and bring it here. Uh, it's got six grabbers on it. Let's go ahead and start this thing up. This thing can probably run at about 60% or so. Let's go ahead and start her up and take her for a spin. Uh, it's not highly armed. It's got four flamethrowers controlled with one, three, seven, and nine. Approximately the way they're laid out on a keypad. And then you can fire your left cannons with four and your right cannons with six. Uh, that's really the only weapons on this thing. What the good stuff is, is with zero, you extend your pneumatics, raise them with plus, and then lower with enter. So, you can do pretty well anything you need with that. Uh, if you need to release the hold on something, just press the period key. That's all there is to that machine. So let's move on to the next one. This is the M4D gun truck. This is my personal favorite. I'm very proud of this machine. Uh, it's got 383 parts. It's got a nice low center of mass, very stable. And before we get started here, I want to go ahead and show you what the idea is here. because. Again, I use tank steering on all my vehicles, so arrow keys control your wheels. Zero controls your pneumatic spikes right here. One controls your left side cannons. Your left side cannons. Three controls your right side cannons. Two controls the scatter cannons on the bottom here. Uh, Five controls the middle cannons, and eight controls the middle high cannons. On the rear, you've got enter controlling your scatter cannons on the bottom, and plus controlling your cannons on the, on the medium side there. Then my favorite weapon here are these bomb arms. You want to kind of practice to get the timing down on these things, but as a general rule, you press down on four to extend the arm on the left, and six to extend the arm on the right. 
7 to release the bomb on the left, and 9 to release the bomb on the right. So, four, as a 4-7 is going to be the combo to fire your left, and 6-9 is going to be the combo to fire your right. Typically, the earlier you release the bomb, the further it's going to go. If you release it late, it's going to kind of drop almost directly in front of you. I'll see if I can give you an example of that. Alright, in fact, let's go ahead and slow this down just to show everybody all the weapon systems in action here. I'm going to go ahead and run this at about 10%. So, 1 and 2, or 1 and 3 fire your side cannons, which is enough to beat this level, apparently. Two fires your scatter cannons for close range, medium range, long range, with five and eight, and then your bomb arms, four, seven. Releasing a little bit late, that one's going to drop almost right on us. So, in fact, we'll catch it. We'll catch it. Nah. Can I take it? Can I take it? Ah, oh, we're on fire. Let's fire that second one. Releasing earlier gives you much greater distance. Let's see. Alright, so using that at speed. We're going to run it at about 50%. This thing is absolutely devastating. Use our arms here to aim with. Very fun. You could also use these cannons as a type of booster, uh, firing the rear cannons to give you a push forward and firing the front cannons to give you a push backward if you need to create space. Uh, again, this features the pneumatic spikes on front and blades, uh, sword blades beside the wheels, saw blades on the sides of the wheels acting as deadly little spinners. I'm very proud of this chassis design. I use something similar for a lot of my vehicles. Uh, but it's very good at protecting the vehicle from troops. I'll watch out for a video. I'll be doing some Queen's Fodder runs with this vehicle, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, that's my favorite. I wanted everybody to see that one and know how to properly use it. This one is much, much simpler. It's a lot of fun, really. Uh, there's not much to it. Tank steering, uh, one, two, three for the cannons, and that's about it. These run automatically whenever you push forward, so as any time you accelerate, you're going to be accelerating faster than you think. It's a real simple machine. It's only got 72 parts, nice low center of mass, same basic design as the others, though, spinning blades of death on the wheel, sword blades between the wheels, spikes, that kind of stuff. Same basic design, just smaller. This is good for those racing objectives, or you need to get somewhere hard to get to. You know what I mean? The platforming ones, you know the levels I'm talking about. But this thing is so fast. These archers can't even hit me. So fast, I love this thing. This is another one that I would suggest taking on Queen's Fodder and playing around with. Alright. That's the last vehicle I want to show you for now. Uh, you can find these on the Steam Workshop M4D series. Just search for M4D. Uh, you can also search for Shame Over and it might pop up there. I don't know. Follow me on Steam. You can join my live broadcast anytime you want. Any anything on Steam is pretty well broadcastable. Uh, like and subscribe on YouTube if you really want to hook a vet up. Uh, I appreciate the support. Thank you.
Uh, if you have any questions about these vehicles, contact me on Steam or YouTube, and I will try my best to answer any questions or give any updates that you guys think is needed, think are needed, excuse my grammar.